Teddy. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Smite. So today, play a casual game in Smite. Nice little casual uh, for for reasons, and those being, so one, I was asked, requested uh, a little while ago, to play Kumba in ranked in the solo lane, and I was 100% planning on doing it. I was actually planning on doing that video right now. That was the one that I was going to do at this moment. But um, last week we got some patch notes thanks to thanks to High Res. And they're buffing Voidstone for whatever reason. They said Voidstone's not strong enough. We're going to buff Voidstone. Uh, sure, why not? So because of that, Guardian Soul Laners are going to be a little bit stronger. Kind of a little bit more better um, in the Soul Laners. So I figured I'll wait until then to do... Uh, whatchamacallit? To do Guardian Soul Laners in Ranked. But I didn't want to wait too much longer to do Kumba Solo. So I decided to do it right now. I'm going to do Wrath Start. Even though our Thor did Wrath, so I probably didn't need to. I just like doing it on Guardians because like... Getting earlier lane pressure is nice, and, um, okay. you know, like, invade and stuff, it's helpful. I mean, you don't get the TP, but I should be okay against the Sun Wukong for a while in, uh, in solo. I shouldn't have to worry too, too much about, uh, unless it's, like, Kamazot's solo and Wukong. I'll still be fine, probably. Like, I probably don't have to worry too, too much about the, uh, about being pressured out of lane, so I probably won't have to back super early, except I'll probably run out of mana. I don't know. I just like doing I like doing the Wrath start anyways. Hawk start OP. Now we're gonna get to lane super fast, which means I'll be able to get decent lane pressure against the Wukong, which is a good thing as a Guardian Soul laner. And uh hopefully get some imps. Maybe uh maybe you know maybe not get pushed out of lane and stuff, and then I won't have to worry about about backing. But running out of manas, that'd be ideal. Looks like our Loki DC. Or something. I don't know what the Loki's doing. Loki's trolling. The Loki. What do you expect? We also didn't clear that much faster than them, so, you know. So much for all that. Feels badman. But we got Wukong to get his uh, his dash instead of his, uh, his you know, his two. Oh, they got... Oh, wait. No, never mind. That was just Kamazot's hog. Kamazot's Athena hog. Hopefully this Loki comes back. I've had a string of games today where everyone's just left. So many DCs and people just like not playing. Hopefully this isn't one of them. Hopefully the guy decides to uh, come back. Hopefully he decides to come and play his, lo play his Loki ADC or whatever he's doing with his Watcher's Gift. Or maybe he was mad that they took, that they took the damage buff from him, so he's like, I'm not going to play anymore. No damage buff for me. I probably didn't need to get my 2. I probably just got another point in my 1 for better clears. But hey, if this game doesn't go super long, I mean, hopefully the, hopefully the Loki comes back at some point and we can get a, you know, little bits of stuff. But, uh... Hopefully it goes longer than 10 minutes. That's all I'm trying to say. Hopefully this game goes longer than 10 minutes. I can farm up, you know, get my farms did. Get some items on. Oh, look, he's back. He's just something happened. So yeah, I'll, I'll be like a little bit pressured until um, probably like level 8. I think level 8 or 9 is when I can full clear the wave with uh, Kumba. With my 1. Also, one thing with Kumba that I... Did I just double? No, okay. It may sound like I double hit a potion, but I didn't. Another thing about Kumba that I know, that I realized back when I played a bunch of Kumba solo at the end of Season 2 is... um. If you're playing like a melee god, a god who's all up in the wave doing melee abilities, attacking it, you can just, uh, you can mess them inside the minions and they'll take lots of minion damage and it's always crummy for them. It doesn't work as much against Wukong because he's kind of safe clear. You can just kind of stand back and do it, but it was really good against, uh, against like Tyr back in the day when everyone was playing Tyr because then he would like do his fearless and you just freeze him in the wave at the back of it. He'd take a lot of damage from minions. I also kind of just want to ult him on cooldown. Just like make it annoying for him. That's another thing. When I played against Kumba Solos, that was always super annoying getting ulted all the time. Alright. Well, I forced his ult at least. I don't know if he's going to dive me. Oh, I was hoping he would. Then I could hog him under tower. I'm going to back here. He's going to get to lane faster than me because it's... Oh, he's not even backing. I 
I assume he's gonna back and then come TP in and try and do his blue buff. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to contest it even with Hog. I was kind of hoping that he'd be cocky there and try and dive me under tower, and then I could just hog him and he would die. That would have been cool, but I guess he was too smart for that. Also, because I have passive up, so I wouldn't actually die. I missed out on a wave there, which is a little bit crummy, but I feel like with Goomba, I just want to kind of get to, uh, like, later. That's all I got to do. Get to later on in the game, we're fine. First blood secured. Yeah. Like, the thing about Guardian Soul Lane is just they're always, it's always rough early for a while, because your clear early isn't great. Some gods can clear decently once you get items on. Well, that's about it. Um, once you get later, you can actually, like, you know, decently clear. Which is helpful. I don't know if he's going to try and steal that. I don't think he can because I have Hog, but maybe. The problem is I have no mana right now. Thank you. Thank you for helping, Mr. Wukong. It would have been nice if you know, cleared the whole thing, but that's fine. I'll come back and do that after. At least I got my blue buff. I just gotta worry about clearing that last minion now so that it'll actually spawn at some point. I kinda wanna stay because I know he can't really kill me at this point, but I want him to try. People always forget about Kuma passive. Kuma passive is always forgotten. But people like dive your tower and then it's like, oh, I'm not actually dead. You have to auto attack me. And they're like, I could do it. And then they can't. Except he's at full health now, so he might be able to. He could probably kill me if he ulted and let his minion, his uh, decoy go under tower. Enemy missing mm. left. Okay. Enemy missing middle. He's going to clear that, which is nice. At least get the, I'll get the timer on still. And I still got my blue buff. So it's all fine. I missed. That's unfortunate. If I hit him with that, he might have died. But that's okay. His TP shouldn't be up yet, and I should be able to get a free back here. Bye. Unless Sora wants to do these. Oh, they're down. Okay, I'm going to back. I'm going to back, finish off my boots. Get a little bit of defense on. And I'll probably get two more of these. Safety. I'm not too, too worried about the health damage. The health damage. The damage. I'm not too worried about, um, needing, needing the healths. Uh, I'm worried about running out of mana, though, so. I'm kind of, I'm still kind of peed about that last, dropping that last kill. I think if I had enough mana to do my two and my alt, I could have killed him. I could have, uh, slowed him down and killed him, but that's fine. Force him out of lane, and so we don't miss out on more farm than him. He's also missing out on this whole wave because he's doing his blue. Which is smart, because I could have just gone in and hogged it. And now I can full clear, and I have defense. You can also full clear though, so it's like, you know, inconsequential. See, ideally now I'll stay in lane until level 12, so I can back and get TP and then come back into lane. But I don't know if that's gonna work. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Wasted his tiger. Trying to catch me when he was rooted. Silly. Okay. You know, ultimate's coming. I don't know why Athena ulted. That was kind of silly of her. Now he's back in. At least we got the trade there. I think Box is dead though, because the Athena came over. I'm gonna find my last uh, mana potion here. I probably should've just backed. I thought he had TP up, so I thought he'd be in lane soon. Oh, he TP'd over there. All right, I can't really go over there. I think Thor's okay. I don't know he's gonna TP over to mid. So I'm just gonna back here, get a little bit more defense. 
Your middle tower is under attack. And potions. And then I won't miss out anything on this wave. Go in there and farm up a little bit. Enemy missing left. And that door is super cocky. I'm guessing he TP to the ward? I don't know if he TP to a ward or to a tower. But his TP is down now, at least I know. I mean, he's not missing left now. Can't predict his teleports. Can't do that. Pretty sure I called him missing left when he backed, too, didn't I? I usually do that. Usually a thing I'll do. Now, I don't know if Kamazots is over here. Oh. Doesn't matter. Thought maybe he was back. He was trying to go do his uh, his blue buff. Ultimate is down. Enemy missing right. Okay. Mm. Now he's probably gonna have to back, unless he wants to be super cocky. But his TP should be down now. Alright, we got his ult for that. I guess that's okay. Jingwei is coming though, which could be dangerous. They're that super quick. They're still fighting? Why are they still fighting? Why would you still fight this? Team, please. I mean, we got stuff at least. We died to the Wukong a little bit, but we got everyone else. Can't really help out the Bacchus. Hopefully, you can just get out. Thor might be coming in, though. He's missing out on a lot of farm for this, too. And we have a cuckoo here now too. This is just craziness. I just want to do my blue buff. I could probably still steal his because I have hog, but I don't want to do it against all of them. I'll just do mine instead. Especially with the Athena there. In case someone comes over here, I want to pop my health potion. I don't want to be too, too low. That Wukong's just like not been in lane the last like 10 minutes. I think they're okay though. So I can probably push this wave and then we go over back in the TP. I guess not, eh? I'll finish off this, get my TP and then go into mid lane. My team's getting pooped on. I got lots of kills, they're fine. I also got a death though. Couple deaths though. I mean, I'm helping middle lane. Now they're getting Athena ulted. He's probably I'm dead here. Now we're fine. That Thor was super cocky going in like that, I think. I mean, I'm fine. I don't think they can kill me. Retreat. The Bach is to come, so you can get some, okay. some experience this year. There we go. I guess that's the one bad thing about having a, having a hog instead of TP, is the fact that you can just get out rotated super hard. But see, generally, your team knows that. I don't think my team is aware. Maybe they didn't know I had Hog instead of TP. I'm not certain. Enemy missing middle. 
I don't know if he's doing his blue now. If he is, I could probably steal it. The have hog up. Oh, he's already down. All right, I'm just gonna back. Uh, I'm not gonna back yet, actually. I can still, I can still fire him. I'm fine. I can probably wait till my TP comes back up, and then back. Oh yeah, I missed him with my mess. Oh no, I hit him. Never mind. Never mind. I hit that mess. That mess so good. Alright, we got his ultimate at least. I guess that's a decent thing. Oh, what? Did I not mez out his tiger? What? I thought for sure I mez out his tiger there. Dang it. Dang it, Taunt. I just have no mana. I'm gonna back and TP in. Hopefully I don't do anything too silly. More mana potions, so I don't run a lot of mana. Man, this Bacchus is lit. I don't know why he dove against three. That was just a terrible decision on his part. I don't know why he would dive against three when they have an Athena. That's just asking to get killed. No. Did you expect me to like help him when I had no mana or something? I understand. I understand the stop process there. Silly. It's a silly person. I don't think we can catch her. Oh, we can catch her. Man, that Kamazosh does so much damage. I'm not really worried about Wukong damage now, though. Stop attacking left lane all the time. I just want to farm, and people keep trying to fight over here every single time. Really kind of annoying. Now they're getting Athena all. Just don't fight him. We're gonna have to hog him when he lands. Oh, I got screwed there. Dashing to the Athena. That's too bad. I don't know why Bacchus keeps trying to fight my lane. I'd really much prefer he didn't and just like fire in middle or something. Because now I'm just getting everyone in my lane all the time and I can't farm. Which isn't good for not getting kills either. Our team's just dying a bunch, giving them farm and not giving us farm. A little bit unfortunate. I think like I think late game we should, uh, I don't know, we're pretty far behind now. I don't think Thor should have gone in on that. I think he's dead. Yeah, I don't know why he... I guess he got the turnaround kill. It's probably actually worth for him. Since he was behind, so he was in worth tons, and the Wukong was ahead, so he was worth lots. Yeah, see, now I just like my team to not go in my lane ever, so I can just farm and not be behind. Like, that's the main problem here. That I'm super behind. Because my everyone keeps fighting over here. If they're all fighting, I can't farm. I appreciate the, you know, I appreciate the idea. But I'd much prefer you didn't come into my lane. 
like ever all game that would be the most ideal situation Stop. Okay, maybe he's just clearing the buff. He's just clearing the buff. That's don't come fight over here, please, team. Stop coming to left lane. That's so annoying. It's honestly, like the most annoying thing ever. When people keep coming over solo to fight. Like I can't farm and do solo lane things. We're always fighting in my lane. And like dying in my lane all the time. What do you mean help? I used all my abilities. I don't know what you want me to do, Mister Mister Thor. Like, if people could not be in left lane all game long, this would be a lot more fun. That just ruins the whole enjoyment of solo lane. Bummer. Now they're going to sell my blue, probably. Bummer. Mm. Yes. Also, Athena has hog, and so does Cam, so I can't really go in and contest that. I don't know why Box is going in on that. That's so dumb. Just let them take it. It's fine. Not a big deal. Oh, my God. Like, why would you do this? You're just wasting my farm, man. So annoying. I honestly hate it when people do that. That triggers me. I'm triggered now. I hate it when people camp my lane. Like, my team camps my lane. Like, I can't have any impact in fights when I'm this far behind. And I can't get more ahead if my team's gonna keep stealing my farm. I'm going to back, finish off my Void Stone, and probably start on a Spirit Rope, get full CDR. I guess I won't have much health. I'm going to get Pestilence instead. Pestilence would be better. Pestilence, and then Spirit Rope, and then, I don't know, which Wing Blade, probably? They have, they have some slows. They have some slows on their team. That was a good time. Super taunted. Like, honestly, this game would be going a lot better if my team decided not to camp my lane, take all my farm, and force fights on my side of the map. I kind of want to drop the speed. We should probably just attack middle lane, honestly. I guarantee they're going to go in there and all get killed. Everyone's super far behind. Yeah, see? Don't know why they decided to go in on that. So just like... Don't wake them from the mess, man. Why would you do that? I just mez them so that they wouldn't be able to chase him and then he like uses his ability on them right away. Jump away, Bacchus! Loki's fine, he's a Loki. I don't know what this guy's doing. All sort of Thor is like super behind. I think Loki's screwed. I don't know if we could help him. I don't know why he's going in with no health. I just don't understand this guy's decision making skills at all. Retreat, retreat. He also woke them from the mez again. Keeps on doing that, man. Keeps waking them from the mez. I'm pretty sure this is game. I don't know, man. I think that could have gone better if my team just let me farm. To be honest. 
Like, I was kind of behind at first, and the Wukong was rotating, but it's also Wukong, who's going to out-rotate like anyone, anyways, and he had TP and I didn't. So my team should have noticed that, and just played safer. I don't know, I guess that's me expecting too much, maybe. Maybe I should have rotated with him. But I just wanted to farm him so I could get to, I could, you know, stay even with him in levels, because I could do more late game than he can. But, instead my team ended up just, uh, coming over and fighting my lane all game. Which meant that I lost our own farm because we were fighting. And I was splitting ways. Crummy. It's a crummy thing. See, that's the thing about why I like playing ranked more. Like, sometimes the ranked games are terrible and you get really bad teammates, but generally they have decent common sense and they're like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I shouldn't fight right now. Maybe there's going to be a rotation and I should be safe. They're just like, why would he take my blue? What? Why did he just take my blue? Why did Thor take my blue right there? That's silly. Like, I kind of wanted that blue buff. He just took it from me. Probably wards, since I've had these wards for like the entire game, and I don't think I've placed any. I assume they have a sentry on there, but if not, we'll be fine. Like, I, know, I don't know why Poseidon is following me around to farm, too. Okay. I mean, he could just defend mid. I can hold Cuckoo in mid. But I guarantee my team's going to be mad if I do. Cause that's the kind of people they are. So I can stop him from going over there. And maybe even kill him. Alright, I know he's gonna back at least. If I had like two ultimate abilities, I could've killed him. But I only have one. Feels bad. I want to go help my team. I don't want to miss this wave. I guess I'll go help him. They're fighting like a 3v2 also. And not doing so well. Also, we don't have a tower on the side at all. Oh, I missed. That's too bad. I don't know how they lost that fight. Like they were fighting, a, what was it, like a 4v3? <clears throat> or maybe just a 4v4. Maybe that's why. Definitely a possibility. But we had like all of our DPS over there and they didn't have Cuckoo. And we still lost it somehow. I mean, probably we should defend middle lane because it's coming up soon, but you know man. Teach their own. I'm gonna back. Finish off my pestilence. And then work on defending the middles. one of those. One of those sentries. Yeah, this is really bad. I'm only level 19 at 27 minutes. Alright. I mean, I guess you get alt there. I'm gonna try and save my alt for Cuckoo. Or Jing, actually. Alright, that kind of hurts a little bit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to start on some Spear Robe. Some more, some more CDRs. Man, they're just like... 
walking right up to him now. I like how this box is trying to call everything. He's just making terrible calls all the time. I think Loki knows what he's doing. I mean, I hate to say that, but I think Loki's doing the right thing right now. Yeah, that's his beads. That's good. Okay, I'll just do my blue by myself. That's fine, Mr. Thor. Oh man. Oh man. This is an interesting group of characters on this here team. An enemy has been slain. Alright, there's no point chasing the Athena. So don't chase the Athena. Please don't chase the Athena. Don't chase the Athena. Thor. Thor. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know why he chased the Athena there. He's not gonna kill the Athena 1v1. And he's obviously walking into something. Oh, I missed. I missed my dash thing. We forced the Wukong alt and we got, whatchamacallit. And we got Jingwei beads. And Box is just jumping in against three, for some reason. Okay. I mean, we got Aegis from Cuckoo, so that's decent, but... I guess they're all just backing up. Maybe we could fight this. Let's go for the Cuckoo. Okay. Alright, maybe let's not do it now. Let's not find out a 2-2. Two -two. Playing under tier 2 would be a bad idea. Everyone should just back up. Everyone should just back up. Bacchus, that includes you, Bacchus. Man. They have a lot of global pressure too, which kind of sucks. Uh, what's his face? I'm be dead here. Yeah. Oh, that was dumb. I thought I had more, I thought I had more gold than that. God damn it! I press, I press my hog. I do that all the time. I need to, I need to remember to switch TP and hog. I already do this. An enemy has been slain. Thor, you kind of just should hammer out right now, Mr. Thor. All right. All right, Thor. I, mean, I can stop Kama from fighting whoever's in mid, the Bacchus, but... Oh, he's got a friggin' pool right there, that sucks. Damn it. It's like 1 HP. That sucks. The Athena ult saved him there. Pretty sure if Athena didn't ult, I would have been able to kill him with my belly bounce. I need a okay, I'm probably gonna go for Wingblade next, I think. Right. Wingblade might be a decent item. Actually, I could go for E-Staff oh. and get some more damage out. Because my team's not really doing tons of damage. Because everyone's really behind. Enjoy the trip back to the fountain. We've done kind of well to stop him, though, from getting anything other than that mid Phoenix that one time. And we're actually catching up in farm. Maybe I'll go for E-Staff. Give me a little bit more health. And I, I mean, the only slow they really have is from Cuckoo. Oh no, I missed! Alright. I tried. Probably just retreat. I don't know why Bacchus is going in. Bacchus, please. 
Bacchus and Loki. I guess Loki got it, but. Alright, we got that kill too. Maybe we can get mid Phoenix off this. Or at least. Okay. That's that's a bit cocky there. Oh, I knocked the wrong person out. That sucks. Oh well, we got it still. I don't know if attacking the Titan's a great idea, but we could probably get this. Alright, maybe not. Alright, maybe we can't get this then. Damn it, I thought I'd be able to survive that. I don't know, I think that might have been the right call to go for the uh, Phoenix there. But, you know, it didn't work out so well. Who's split pushing? Oh, it's not split push, it's just minions. Alright. I was like, who the hell's up to do that? Unless Wukong TP'd. Alright, alright, there, Poseidon. All right. <laughs> okay. That was uh, that was a little bit awkward. That was an in interesting engagement. I just want to get my two two with this, so I can get some more health and manas. Are they pushing at mid? Oh yeah, they are. They got it. Too late now. I mean, they got their turn kill. We're actually doing okay now. I mean, we're pretty much caught up in levels. Um, I guess it's just Thor. It's a little behind still. All right, I can't really, I can't really fight through this so well. Trying to help my team so much on my CCs. Trying bunches. I feel like we're not, like, I don't know. I feel like our team wasn't really the team to be fighting a bunch. We should have been playing it safer. We have pretty good combos between Poseidon and Kumba, though. That we should be using a bit more. Right off them into, into the middle of the Kraken. We should probably push up right lane a little bit, since they're like at the Phoenix. Ward the fire giant. I mean, I don't know if we really have much chance to contest fire, but I guess with I guess with Kraken maybe, maybe Kraken can. I also think that they have a lot of wards placed all over the place, and we have none. And I also think they shouldn't be fighting right now, but I guess I'll have to go help them. I guess I'll have to go help out in the middle lane. My team's going to be fighting all this time. Bummer. You guys are crazy, man. Oh, I freaking hit the wrong person again. Alright, maybe we can go for the Phoenix here? Actually, there's a camera here. This could be bad. Alright, I can't, I can't defend against that. I missed! I'm trying so hard to body block everything. Alright, we got a team. Alright, I still think Titan's a little bit, a little bit cocky here. But I think maybe a Phoenix would be a decent call.
We don't have any, like, tower damage, though, is a problem. Literally, no one's even attacking the tower. We're just gonna die here. <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. I probably should have just backed. I should have backed and TP'd. I think. I think that would have been a better call. But I have my E staff. So I can back from my E staff. Do a little bit more damage. Top out the team. Some rewards. Like, we're doing okay now. We're doing okay. We're actually fighting them and winning fights and stuff. But our team just seems disjointed. For the most part. They're going for fire right now. 100% they're doing fire right now. I don't think we can defend, but... Maybe we can uh, ward them off a little bit. I don't know why Thor's going over. Alright, we got it. Now he needs to just retreat, though. Alright, we got that person. I'm trying so hard to be over the Poseidon here. I think we're okay. Alright, I'm gonna back here. And then TP on into that ward. Not gonna use my hot oh, my hawks on cooldown anyway, so it doesn't matter. An enemy has been slain. All right, we can do stuff now. We can actually like, take towers and stuff. Maybe I don't. Does Loki? Did Loki build Crusher? Loki didn't. Oh no, he did not build Crusher. That's too bad. That's unfortunate. I missed so hard. That's fine though. We got him. So now we have like literally no tower damage. I don't know how we're gonna take anything without. Any sort of tower damage. I'm just gonna attack the tower. I'm tanking. Alright, I'm gonna get out of this tower. I'm tanking. It hurts a lot. Oh, I got targeted again, dang it. Alright, we got a Phoenix. We got this. I don't know if we can push for more, because Jing Wei's coming up. But, you know, whatever. I guess we'll just go for it. Why not, right? Right, team? Alright, we got him. And we can probably get this Phoenix still. Alright, now we can retreat. I should be fine. As long as Poseidon can survive. That's all that really matters. Alright. See, now we're fighting pretty well. We can actually fight and stuff. Now I have lots of damage with my, uh, my E staff. My super OP E staff. That got super hard nerfed that one time. Feels badman that time I got nerfed. I'll leave that for someone. I don't really need it. Although Thor's not going to be up in time, so I might as well take it. And Poseidon's not going for it. I'll be a super fast Kumba. Loki might be dead here. I can't really appeal for him. He's way up there. If he plays a war, he doesn't have one. So I can't. He should be fine, though. It's Loki. He has his ultimate still. He's fine. Now he's got to push up right. The fire's wearing off in 30. I mean, it's coming up in a little bit. So, ward up the fire giant. Hopefully they won't take it next time. Because now we've caught up in gold. And we got the Phoenix advantage. So now we're okay. We're in an okay situation now. I'm guessing that's fake Wukong. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, 
can go back here and try and stop the Jingwei and stuff. That was a uh, poorly, you know, aimed ultimate ability, but that's fine. I don't have. A, why don't I have a ward? All right, place on fire. Like I, I know I got a ward. Where'd it go? It's on fire. All right, we got the phoenix at least. I think I'm okay. I have my all to escape more if I need to. If she dashes again, I can just alt away. Oh, Brock is dead though. That's too bad, Mr. Bacchus. But this way we can make sure to defend the fire giants. Or at least take it, maybe even. See, I don't hate Loki um, ADC. I know it works and people do it sometimes. It's just like, I feel like the DPS isn't as reliable as a... Uh, I guess Loki's up there. We could, because we do fire for free right now, if everyone was here. Don't think we'd have to worry about his uh, Cuckoo ultimate. Do we do fire for free and then take down the Phoenixes again, but... Alright, I guess we'll just go straight for Titan. That's fine. That's fine, team. Not a terrible call. I just think it would be safe to go fire first. Although, I guess it might take a while to do fire with the Loki. Hey, we won! After all that, after that super sloppy early game, we still won it somehow. I swear that I was still I was so tilted with my team, <laughs> camping my freaking lane all game. I'm not a big fan of that. See, the reason I like playing solo lane is because I like playing one v one and like outplaying someone. I don't like playing like a three v three or a two v three or whatever all game. That's not as fun. Even if I'm like one v one against a solo lane and then I get ganked by jungle, I'm like, oh, that sucks. I didn't have it warded. I didn't see it coming. That's unfortunate. Maybe I'll get killed for this. Maybe I won't. Whatever. Either way, I'm like. Don't rotate the whole team over. Like, don't do that. Just let me do my thing, man. Let me do my solo lane thing. It's much more fun to do my thing on my lonesome. But hey, we ended up winning in the end anyways because our team fights were okay. It's just that early game. I think the early game rotations because it's Wukong with Bird slash I didn't have TP. I think that's why I kind of got screwed over a little bit. But hey, we still won ourselves a game. We still won ourselves a Kumba solo game. And uh, in a little bit... Okay, get out of here, fancy points. In a little bit of time, there will soon be a buff to Void Stone, so Void Stone will be even a little bit better. And we'll get more damage from it. So yeah, that'd be that'd be a good thing to do. That box did what the hell did the Bacchus build? That Bacchus was doing so much damage. He didn't have boots. What the hell? What's this guy doing? This guy's crazy. He had 34k player damage. That's super a lot for Bacchus. But anyways. That was Kumba Solo. Sadly the beginning of the game went poopy. Poopily. Um, but hey, you know, sometimes the game goes a little bit poopy, and sometimes it goes not so poopy, and sometimes it goes bad, and then you win anyways, and that's what happened. But anyways, that was Kumba Solo. Um, thank you for joining, hope you enjoyed. I will be playing Kumba Solo, probably in ranked, in a little bit, once the Void Stone buff comes out, and then it'll be so much a lot easier to play so, uh, Guardians in Soul Lane, in my opinion. But anyways, take care everyone.